Hey guys, Bud Groove here. We have another unboxing uh, from the knife store. I don't remember what this is, so let's discover it together. Okay, what do we got here? Decent sized box, so let's put a bunch of packing, that's why. Alright. What is this? Oh, okay, okay. I remember this. Yeah, okay. So this is a traditional uh, slip joint knife. It's uh, manufactured by the company that bought Queen Cutlery, the machines for Queen Cutlery, and they're starting out uh, with a, a uh, I guess like a practice run uh, under one company named Weed & Company. Uh, Weed & Company, as you can see here, uh, was started in 1818. It was a Mr. Weed, <clears throat> but... Uh, uh, went out of business years and years ago, I suppose, and so they bought the the mark, and uh, and went ahead and produced this to get their practice using those machines, and uh, before they started introducing the queen cutlery, so pretty neat little box, pocket knives. We got the bison there, and I think these were limited edition also, handmade, hand sharpened, made in the USA. And you'll see why in a moment why it's called Weeding Company. If I can figure out how to open this. Or why they went with Weeding Company. Let's see. Alright. Don't necessarily approve of their messaging here, but... Uh, I wanted to get the first production run for this manufacturer before they started doing Queen and Cutlery. Um, and uh, uh, just so I can have a comparison and perhaps start a collection with with these. And uh, they went with Weed and Company because look at that shield. It is a weed. And uh, I don't I don't participate in that myself, and don't necessarily approve of it either. Definitely stinks, which I don't enjoy. So, but I thought it was a pretty cool knife, and this is a uh, jig bone hunter, I believe. Let's see. Let's see what it says here. Huh. So they're pushing weeding company, but then they include this. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is on the face of all the earth and every tree, and which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be used for meat. Okay. Well, very controversial. And uh, it's Cooper Cutlery is the one who owns these brands. And... German Hunter pocket knife. Uh, only 375 were made. Uh, 100 stacks. Here we go. 75 green jig boned. So made with 440 stainless blades. An eighth of an inch thick with stainless back spring. I have no idea what C71500 is, but it's copper nickel bolsters and brass liners so that the knife will never rust. So a little bit larger than I was expecting. I was thinking it was probably going to be that big, but that's pretty cool. Looks nice. And I, I do find some amusement, though, that it is weed, and I did manage to get a green one. So there, there is that, at least. That's nice. Well, that's very nice. Let's see. Can we get that there? Winchester... Ohio 2021 Weeding Company. There we go. So, pretty nice. I like it. Get the fingerprints off. And we'll take a look at some of this quality on it. All right.
right, let's see what we've got here. That finish lining up in there. Yeah. Got a little bit of a lip there. But I don't expect that to be necessarily smooth. It's smoother on the back than it is the front, but you can, there is a bit of a lip there too. You'll notice that the uh, <clears throat> nail nick is really long, so you can pretty much grab it anywhere you want. Um, might even be able to, I can't, I'm not going to be able to do it, but you might even be able to use your thumb to get it open slowly. Yeah, I'm not going to try doing it with one hand. I'm sure I'll cut myself. And it's off center there. Or is that just the type of blade? No. Yeah, that's off center. It's not, it's not a chisel point. So, just has one one lock, locking point. A mm, little bit light down here. So a little uneven coloring, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's supposed to make it look more aged too. I suppose. Uh, can't really feel the pins. So that's nice. And the shield is put in there pretty good. Huh, you using a case, using a case uh polishing cloth on a weeding company. Uh, that ought to be against the law. So, pretty cool. I like it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what they do once they start coming out with Queen, and uh, we'll go from there. So, hope you like it, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.